Hello everybody. I am here. And uh, we have to wait and see what our mind is telling us what to say, what to do. Everything starts with the mind. All these impulses, all these um, things that we are minding. Yeah, what can I say? It's all internal. It's a big question out there. How to figure out how our, how our mind works. It's a big topic. It's something very, very Yes, I was uh, thinking of something yesterday or today, I don't remember quite. I have these dreams and um, I try to figure out what it is about and some dreams you tend to forget, some dreams you keep. And um, maybe I came to understand or think that dreams is a mental processing of what is happening with your with yourself. It is uh, something uh, you have to figure it out because during a time during a time I was tormented I had no clue how to deal with it and I had these dreams it's rather gross and it's rather mm, bugling because it's uh, it's uh, it's very, very invading. And uh, I dreamt about polished polished ins that was drilling my skin, entering my skin. After some time, more and more I got to understand what that kind of drilling was all about. Sometimes you can't avoid what you are going through and it can be too much to handle sometimes and uh, it was um, these insects, I dreamt they were in my bed and I couldn't avoid them. I, I had to push them away, but they seemed to be just going by a motor of its own. And um, how to figure out what these kind of things are is... Um, Maybe I was probed by that time. People that want to invade me and uh, get a hold of me. I felt uh, vulnerable and um, couldn't um, really defend myself in a good way. After some time I get to understand what this dream, dream was all about. The, it was repeatedly, uh, I was dreaming it all over again and again. And not every day, but uh, every time I had this 
in Vedic dreams, I didn't know exactly to pay attention to anything uh, uh, either before or past the dream, but uh, it was uh, kind of about exactly what I was sensing at that, that time. So after after getting rid of this insect, it was different uh, insects. So maybe it was people. I don't know. Uh, in different shapes, people, person, a person in different shape that you can't really figure the one out. Different faces, different um, all together. But dreams are maybe your dreams is you being the spy on the one that are probing you, that are invading you. You are the spy. You are the one that knows. You are a mechanism. Your body, <laughs> your dreams, your psyche is all a mechanism on what what the what people are doing to you by your dreams i think that is kind of a, a interesting um aspect to it if you feel nauseous you can take some ginger uh, ginger tea or something it will help i can make for you so so that is how i reflected during after no not during the time because it was too much too much of of the of um of that kind of invasion in i couldn't defend i had to do to, to do some reflection i seem to be still still working on it but i think they are not so hard more soft soft ones and um, if my body if me as a person is experience this kind of dreams i think i'm the one that are figuring persons out who they really are I may be wrong. I am not. <laughs> I am not an oracle that knows it all. That's uh, that's definite. But uh, people are uh, strange. They have their own reason. Uh, people are uh, different uh, caliber, and you have to accept that people are different, different than you, and they are. Um, Maybe you are in, you interact with people that are are of, of you know your reason to have this interaction with other people, this kind of relation with other people, but you don't know the other side. That's the, that's uh, something <laughs> very. Uh, it's uh, you don't know why. Okay, maybe I have uh, covered something or discover something that is quite interesting regarding our psyche, our abilities, because your dreams, I don't know, because I had a dream the other, some days back, that was very strange and it came out of something very uncommon you wouldn't you ha i haven't seen it before i couldn't imagine it before but i dreamt that my uh, oldest daughter came out of a 
a wall or a tube of uh, water, bluish water, that was so pure, so clean. And there she was. It is out all this um, my mind. And I thought to myself, this is, maybe this um, daughter of mine is more impacting me in my feelings than I already know. So it's uh, quite, uh, quite mind buckling, all this kind of stuff that we are connected, we are connected. But uh, she, I need to reach her through her feelings. So it's, uh, uh, we have a whole lot of speeches go ongoing here. To reach out to people uh, through the feelings, mutual feelings, mutual interest, mutual um, work, whatever mutual you have, reach out to them. And <laughs> she was just smiling at this dream. I told her about it. And I hope that uh, <laughs> anyway, the dream is the dreams. Pay much attention and if you have chance, record them and and um, let them tell you its own message. You have, a dream is a way of to stay away from yourself and see yourself in perspective. That is uh, something uh, I think it's very important that you you see yourself. I think dreams is mainly about the one that have the dream. It can also be more than just that. It can be like a prophetic quality like you are seeing something in your dreams which is going to happen we know that uh, pharaoh in the bible had this kind of dream Se seven year of riches and seven years of uh, famine and uh, no one could really understand but uh, joseph did really understand it and he was a wise man we can go back into the biblical story but uh, i think um, you as a dreamer can also be a messenger when you have dreams joseph had dreams when he was growing up he said that all the cornfield was uh, bowing down to him or I don't know. And the uh, brothers were explaining this for, to him. He, he may not have been even thinking about it was his family, about his family, his uh, siblings. No. Even the moon and stars and everything bowed out to him. So the brothers got envious, but Joseph never, uh, he was just an open dreamer. If he knew what it was about, he would maybe not have told the dream to, to his brothers. But uh, it's interesting because the, the dream is also about our naivety, our pureness or innocence or virginity in, in one way or the other. It's about how virgin, virgin you are to different uh, things maybe that impact you and you get a bit better understanding. Um, 
maybe one of the big artists, uh, painters, or maybe have painted some of his uh, dreams. Who knows? Because they are marvelous, they are out of this world uh, kind of stuff. And all the music that have been made, that really intrigues our um, our uh, our soul or what you call it, um, it's really intriguing. It's this kind of they say that the kind of music that really capture our mind is mathematical, uh, uh, ordered in a specific structural way. You know th something about that. It's it's uh, something uh, very uniquely natural with uh, beauty and uh, the dreams. Maybe it's all about the beauty of uh, of things. The how your mind is uh, is working, and uh, I think a a, a sound. A healthy person that have dreams maybe are going through some difficult stuff have correct dreams should pay much attention attention to his or her dreams so all this kind of stuff we can talk about and we can translate them uh, transfuse them <laughs> Um, transform them into reality. Dreams are not judging you. You are judging the dreams. We are dream judgers, all of us. Dreams are in, seem to be very important since we are judging them so, so hard. So... Maybe we need a more, uh, even the children are dreaming. Uh, part of their life may be contained of just dreams. Since they are uh, sleeping that much, I think they are dreaming about what they want to do, how to make it happen, and all this kind of uh, weird stuff that is going on in their, um, their mind. It's all, I, I remember when I was a little kid, I felt that people made limitation on me, not me on myself, but people were judging me as very limited. And that's before I was able to speak or walk or something like that. I thought that those people are prejudiced, they don't know me, why are they acting like that, Weir those weirdos. <laughs> They have no, no, they have no perspective of my capabilities. <laughs> and uh, maybe I was right, uh, because um, I think that my mind, and I, I believe that every, everybody's mind, I have children too, I have three daughters, and I can see that if I'm judging them in some way, I try to limit them and <laughs> say that this you can't do at all. You are you are handicapped. <laughs> you are you are not able to do it. Uh, just a uh, kind of a funny mocking uh, uh, thing that I t I tend to do. No, you can't do that. You are not so smart. <laughs> but they seem to be a little bit aggressive to that kind of uh, humiliation. And uh, everybody, I think that people that are saying, oh, you are so clever, you are so, you are so this and that, is belittling many people. I, I will honor people by admiring what they are doing and pay some interest in how they, they are able to do it. But um, to brag about their skill they know their own skill who am i to comment on that i'm not doing half the 
half of what they are doing. So how do would I know how clever they are? No, I can just admire their work. And though the man that put together this nature, how can you judge if he exists or not? <laughs> it's, uh, you are out of your mind. We are so judgmental sometimes. Uh, let us only judge our dreams because you can say that the dreams are not real. But uh, who are saying that God is not real? Who is saying that uh, thoughts doesn't exist? You can't see thoughts, but they are there. Dreams. So everything is uh, also in the perspective of time limitation. I mind that what you have said, return back. It's what I said. I feel so awkward about it that I hope that they will never remember it. <laughs> but here I'm, ma I'm making a tape of this uh, talk so I, I can't really regret what I said. <laughs> well, I try to be a little bit light about everything. It's not very important all what I say. I think when I'm uh, when when I'm debating, my opinion, my personal opinion, doesn't really matter. It's just a, I'm just a spokesperson for uh, for something that maybe haven't been said before, and that need to be said. Uh, sometimes you need to hear something you are shocked by just in order to re recover and rethink what you are already thinking. I want to make a, a ticking bomb in your mind. I want to make it explode when you understand it. So don't pay so much attention to, to everything. Uh, your, op uh, your opinion about everything, you can relax. You have your dreams. Keep, keep, uh, keep dreaming. Does your labor uh, matter? No. The minute, the minute you are doing it, uh, the next minute it's done. It's uh, you can never see it again. You have you, you never need to do it again. Besides those that are doing the same over all over again and again, I in my I can't in my right mind figure out how they are able to do it. Repeatedly work. I can um, I can make problems out of brushing my teeth every freaking uh, evening. <laughs> it's. It's so annoying to me to repeat what I already are doing, have done. It's uh, going into the shower, I have done extremely many times. Do I really care? I shouldn't care because that is going to blow my mind uh, out of course. It's uh, something, uh, how thick is this skin in order to be cleansed so many times? I don't know. But uh, it seems to be okay with waiting some hours before I, I clean it again. <laughs> ah, this is all this repetition is... I, I had this uh, psychiatric doctor that read my book. And uh, <laughs> he, said, he said something very funny, fur, funny about it. Because he said, I read big, big, thick books during the summer. Five or six or something. They were, they were done within a week or something. But your book was rather thin. It took me longer time than many of those other books. 
together. So he said that you are not even it's so many words here, so many thoughts, so many different uh, things you are writing about. You never repeat yourself. <laughs> so I don't, I hate to repeat myself. That is my, uh, because then you, if you repeat yourself, you, are, you think that you are back from where you started. <laughs> it, it can't go well when you, when you start all over again and again. Have you seen this um, 50, 50 dates? It's, um, I think it's Adam Sandler that, is, uh, that want to date a lady that have this Alzheimer. And uh, again and again, he, she forget who he, who he is. And he always try to date her, um, spend time with her and make her remember who he is and that they are engaged. <laughs> they, they. So this is a very humorous, funny video. Yes, today we have talked about a lot of nonsense and nothingness and, and uh, dreams. I think that is going to happen more or less only one time, <laughs> I hope. <laughs> I, I, uh, I hope, uh, what I repeat is I, 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 and it is, it is, it is. That is what is going to repeat. And that is, that is a professional degree of uh, repeating. It's not uh, something uh, that I don't know what to say. It's only a professional attitude to what I'm going to say in the continuance of this. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, I wish you all the best, my friends out there, uh, whoever you are, I hope you are not the same as the last time. If you are, if you are still looking at my, all my videos, you may be a little bit bored or uh, lonesome. <laughs> are you lonesome tonight? <laughs> okay. If you find, uh, find any anything worth reflecting on in this video you are welcome you can even uh, debunk me or debate me or uh, oh, slay me down uh, verbally not so much physically but you are welcome anyway to like or dislike everything is for me it's it, it, equal worth because if you are criticized that's when you are learning when you are reprimanded or if you are, are um, talked to and you have to keep to your word and keep what 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 was it you told me and uh, you said this that time what about now when things is happening like that you have to be responsible and take uh, charge so this is uh, what is going to happen in the continuance of this these crazy videos even to to shave my uh, my beard i hate to do it but when I'm done it, it's very nice. <laughs> I'm so irritated because I have to shave. It's quite a joy. It's not that big of a job. But uh, when it's done, I'm very happy that I did it. And it seems to be okay, clean, smooth and everything. So... Uh, <clears throat> Let me shave this video off by a best wish of farewell and uh, my God bless you always and keep you young. Bob Dylan said that.